Hi, Fai. How are you? Everything okay with you? Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm fine. I just got home from the gym. Um, I'm good. Yeah, it's That's great. all I can say. <laughs> it's great to be talking to you, man. And before mm -hmm. we start, let me congratulate you for your win on the Germany's Eurovision Song Contest and for being the first metal band that uh, uh, will represent Germany in this uh, uh, in this uh, contest, uh, yeah. European contest. Uh, were you at any point expecting to win? No, um, at all. I mean, if you were looking at statistics prior to the preliminaries, um, you could have kind of guessed it if you wanted to build your opinion upon them, mm -hmm. but we didn't want to because all the statistics showed us as a favorite, but then again, you will never know. Um, so we didn't expect it. Um, and we certainly didn't expect it after the jury votes were through where we placed fifth. Um, and that was totally fine. Um, but yeah, we didn't, um, didn't think that the audience vote would be such on such a high level. Yeah, and why do you yeah. think that happened? You know, because you won uh, thanks to, uh, to the, the public vote. Mm. True. Um, I mean, all I can say is that, especially our fan base that we have built over the years, it has grown, um, it has grown sustainably in a way. It's not like, a shallow fan, fan base where everybody kind of knows one song and doesn't really know the artist. And it's like, we try to try to be close to fans. We try to keep it as a tight knit circle, even though the circle is getting bigger and bigger. Um, but that happened to be one of the reasons I think that we won because our fans are very, very loyal and they do everything and they can to support us and we feel that every day and especially we felt that during eurovision preliminaries and also people who didn't even know us before i think um and i can confidently say that i just think that we're a interesting um band to choose for for eurovision you so, sure are I guess that helped. <laughs> um, yeah. And obviously we tried our best to, to get the word out. You know, we mm -hmm. told everyone in our circle, we told um, befriended bands and colleagues and everything. And the mixture of these things uh, made that happen, I guess. Yeah. And uh, as you said, you are a very uh, interesting option. Although mm -hmm. uh, the European Song Contest has always been a very mainstream institution and, you know, metal and mainstream usually don't fit very well. Um, why? What do you think, uh, you know, because metal has never been uh, represented, I think the closest metal we ever had was Marty and it wasn't quite metal in the in the sense. Um, if you were, were to ask a metal head, like, a denim vest patches on it metal hat he'd probably say that we are not a metal band either and then again where do you where do you start defining metal as metal um with us i i get that we're 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 put in that box of metal because the heavy guitars and some screaming here and there and um, you certainly hear um, metal influences, but um, we're far more than that. And I don't know if metal has always been not mainstream. I don't know, because there, there certainly are huge, huge metal bands, for example, Iron Maiden, mm -hmm. Metallica the biggest metal bands ever <laughs> who's yeah, but... going to say that they're not mainstream <laughs> they are more mainstream than the, the rest of the bands but still i don't i don't think they are uh, quite mainstream uh, as the rest of the 
genres out there. That's what I meant. And I think that in the Eurovision itself, there were never was a, a metal band or a band as heavy as you are. Probably not, yeah. Yeah, probably not. Maybe, maybe Blind Channel. But then again, where do you decide what's what's heavy and what's not? You know, it's always yeah. this unsatisfying answer of it depends. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's very unsatisfying. Um, I don't know, but I guess I, I take it as a compliment that you're saying that because it's something that's is unique to us that something like us has never been there before. Even though there are people who obviously compare us to Lordi just by the name. Um, um, and there are also people who compare us to Moniskin. And that's always the situation where I'm like, Moniskin, Lordi. <laughs> we are both. Um, have you looked at those bands? Have you listened to them? They're far from each, far apart from each other, and we are far yeah. apro- apart from them. But I guess there always has to be some certain aspect in an artist that is equal to another. So all of a sudden, they're the same. Yeah, it's all right. In your case, with Lord, it might be the 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 paintings or the the visual aspect that you also have on stage. Maybe that. Because uh, music wise, yeah. there's not really much to to compare. I think exactly, and I, I get it. I get it. That's also people comparing us to Rammstein or whatever. Mm-hmm. I get it, but I think the discussion about that, uh, the decision making, isn't that different. Isn't differentiated enough. Mm-hmm. Um, but then again, who who wants to spend? like 10 minutes on forming that decision, right? So as long as we don't put ourselves into a box because someone's going to do it for you, um, we're good. Yeah, like like Lemmy once said, it's all rock and roll. And that's that's everything that needs to be said. Now, Uh um, moving on. Um, As you are uh, representing the, the German country, uh, have you ever, uh, did you ever thought of uh, singing Boden Glitter in German, in your mother tongue? No. Why not? No. Doesn't feel right. And it would, it, it doesn't work with the lyrics. Um, and we've, we've rarely ever sung in German. That's not us. And the main thing that we don't want to do for Eurovision is not be ourselves. So no, that's not going to happen ever. Okay. Um, what about the, the, the visual aspect uh, in the Eurovision uh, song contest? Is it going to be different from uh, what it was in the, the German uh, version? Like all those structures where the drums were, where the synths were, what we have planned? They, yeah, they, they will be different. Um, during the preliminaries, they were, well, I guess if you ever haven't seen it, you can look at it online. It's just like typical stage risers Mm -hmm. and they, they will be adjusted for, for Liverpool that they sort of look a bit more artsy. Um, also they will be a bit higher as well, even higher, but the main the main concept of of the whole staging for us is that it still has to be the feeling for us that it's actually a live show of ours and during live shows of ours we have those risers behind us with the drums and the keys on the on it um but also we have a lot of space just to roam free and run around and to have this sort of controlled chaos on stage because we're we're not a band that can do chore that doesn't have a choreography or dance moves or anything. It's us just giving out energy um, Mm -hmm. that we always give out during live shows. And we want it to be as close to just a concert of ours, really. Um, And that's why the staging will essentially be like that. The whole color scheme and everything will obviously remain red and gold because that's the colors. But 
long story short, um, you just think of the German preliminaries and think everything elevated times five, 10, I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Okay, sounds great. And uh, um, what are you planning on doing if you uh, win the the final version? Um, I will will call. I I don't know. I will call my mother probably. <laughs> um, and after that, no, I can't think that far. I mean, I, we didn't expect to win the preliminaries, and we didn't certainly didn't expect everything that's going on now with all the press we're doing and all the invitations we're getting to some sort of occasion here and there and events. And I'm pretty sure that won't be less if we'd ever win Eurovision. I don't know though. Um, what I know for sure is that if it doesn't matter if we win or not, we will be going on tour um, two weeks after that <laughs> until August. <laughs> Um, on and off with there will be shows with Iron Maiden um, yeah. a lot of festivals uh, will be well prior to Eurovision we'll be in South America in one month um, I don't want to I want to spoil anything because I don't know everything that's be, that, that's announced mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to look that yeah. up. Um, there's a lot. Um, some so German you're shows just going in to keep between. Going. We, yeah, I mean, yeah. Eurovision or not, our year is booked. Mm -hmm. So, if we win Eurovision, I don't know how that's going to fit into it, but we'll make it work. I know that, but. It's yeah, because be you can see you can see, for example, the effect that it had on Minus Kim. It was a, a no rather bad, yeah. unknown band, and now they are massive. Oh, uh -huh. they are massive with huge North American tours. There's a huge European tour that is going on right now. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and you also you are on the 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 finest form of uh, that uh, Mortal Thoughts has ever seen. I think. Because uh, not only you are uh, playing this massive show for uh, millions of people see worldwide, you are also uh, in the middle, not now, but you are also in the middle of a tour with uh, Iron Maiden. You finish the, the first leg and you're going to the second leg, I, I think now. Uh, do you think that all of that was propelled by Blood and Glitter, the album, not the song itself, but by the album? That all of that came through the album? Was pro yeah, it was uh, kind of... Uh, a consequence propelled, you know. Mm, no, I don't think so. I mean, for I know for sure that the maiden tour, the second leg of the maiden tour, wasn't because mm -hmm. we've been asked prior to Blood and Glitter being released. Um, so that's not the case. Um, for a few festivals, Blood and Glitter, the album, and the chart placement, which was number one, um, that was a factor. I think, mm -hmm. but our concert years are booked like half a year or something in advance. So yeah. our our year, this year isn't the product of Blood and Glitter. It's a product of years before that, um, touring and working. Mm -hmm. And so is, so is the album itself and the, the chart entry and Yes, there is always a bit of luck involved, and especially with Eurovision as well, because the timing is just right this year that it fits our aesthetic, it fits the song, everything. But um, you shouldn't, you should never forget that before that we've been working on that for a few yeah. years. So <laughs> twenty years, twenty almost twenty five years, I think. For some people of us, yeah, yeah. So it's been a while. And blood and glitter. I mean, we we've we've um, applied for Eurovision before, um, in twenty twenty two actually, mm -hmm. but with a different song. Um, so even blood and glitter wasn't for Eurovision. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, Modern Glitter, also the, the album, now that we are talking about it, it showed a, a 180 uh, degree turn in your career. You went from uh, Father Forgive Him, because they, they know not what they do, to We're So mm -hmm. Happy We Could Die. Uh, why did you decide to make this uh, this change? Um, first of all, that, that <laughs> I get it that that's a bit polarizing these two opposites yeah. lyrically as well, but they're a bit out of context um, <laughs> because the one song you're you're citing is from a concept album that yeah um, revolves around the concept of Judas and treason and um analyzing what is good and what is bad um and we're so happy we could die <laughs> is from a completely different vibe a completely different standpoint of trying to um transpire a lot of a lot of energy and a lot of joyous feelings so it's mm -hmm. different things but i get that you're you're asking why the change and essentially the answer is with Judas, the predecessor of To Blood and Glitter, um, we went so bleak and dark with like just black and white outfits, yeah. black eyes, everything. We didn't know and we didn't want to build upon that because we felt like that's all we can do in that realm for us. And it didn't, it didn't stay interesting for us to, to follow that. Um, what's always interesting to us is change and to to try to come up with something completely new and different, which certainly it isn't completely new, but it feels new to us because we've never done something like it before. Um, mm -hmm. So basically, the reason why is just out of interest and curiosity, curiosity if we can pull it off. Yeah. And I think we can you you did it i mean you, it was a, a turn and i think it was a, a very successful turn and Thank i mean you. it's it's the facts speak for themselves there's no need for a uh, friend opinion you know uh, there are a lot of opinions though <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah true but um now uh, which are which what's the next step for uh for lord of the lost after this uh massive show that you're going to have and the tour that you're going to have in uh, before and after the, the, the Liverpool show? Um, I mean, obviously it's a bringing the year to an end because a lot of things are planned, like a lot of shows. Mm -hmm. We will have the second installment of our own festival this year, the Lord Fest in Hamburg. Um, and also it's, we still have to shoot a lot of music videos because we will shoot a music video for every song of of Blood and Glitter. So we have to do this. Um, and also we're we're already having an idea for what's coming in the future musically. So anything that you can reveal for now? No, not <laughs> at all. <laughs> I don't want to. Um but we already know what we're what we're doing in 2024 with with music, at least the direction and um yeah. Yeah, and that's but more yeah, to come. We we're, we're we're not stopping. Why would we? Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's great. Uh well, thank you, Bye. It was an honor. I think that's it. Uh would you like to send any message to your Portuguese fans and to your European fans, obviously? Um yeah. I mean I hope I hope that everyone's safe and good. That'd be nice. And if you're watching Eurovision and you like us, vote for us. If you like someone else, vote for them. I'm I'm certain there's only great artists there because otherwise they wouldn't be there. Um and try to keep your focus for what song you like best and not um, think of borders or ah, I don't know how I, if I sympathize with this country because it's not a contest of countries and it essentially isn't really a contest it's more I see it more like a celebration of music and yeah we'll, 
whatever song is liked by the most people wins, quote unquote wins. Um, so yeah, vote for the song you like best. Yeah. And thank you. All right, man. Thank you so much. It was an honor. Yep. Thank you.